This is the Flick 5 channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be telling you a story about a 1987 Porsche 944, kind of the car of my dreams when I was in high school. I bought it and now it has an LS1, a new paint job, a new front end, new tires and wheels, suspension, brakes. This is what happened. About five or six years ago, I was in Portland and I found a Porsche 944. It was a 1987 and I loved that car when I was in high school. I wanted one so bad. I thought it was so cool and so sexy. It's just a really cool car. Porsche got a lot of crap for that car because it was one of the first, I think the 924 and then the 944 were the two first cars that they built with a front engine. I really don't care about any of that. I just thought it was sexy. The cool thing about that car because they had one in the front is that they were able to they put the transmission in the back so they were able to balance this car at an equal 50-50 ratio. So the front weighed exactly as much as the back. They handle really, really well because of that 50-50 split. So I bought one of these things drove it around for about six months and I realized how gutless these things are. I had bought the naturally aspirated four cylinder versus the turbo four cylinder and the turbo four cylinder put out about 260 horsepower. The four cylinder naturally aspirated version that I got put out about 130 horsepower. It was just gutless. I mean the thing didn't have a lot of power. It was fun to drive. I did like it. It handled really well, but I decided I was going to sell it. And I started looking online to figure out what things are worth. And I found a guy that had done a conversion on his to put a LS1 out of a Corvette in his car. A couple videos on YouTube and I'm like, oh man, this is cool. There's a company in Las Vegas called Renegade Hybrids and they sell a kit. So you get a bell housing, you get headers, you get radiator, all the engine mounts, everything you need to get an LS1 to stick inside of a Porsche 944. I could have 350 horsepower hitting the back wheels of this thing and it got kind of exciting for me. So I went ahead and did a bunch of research and I decided to pull the trigger on this project. I'm like, I'm gonna do this thing. So naturally the first thing i found were some cool wheels i thought they were cool maybe they're not to you so when you see the photos don't judge me so i bought some they're called turbo twist porsche wheels and so i got those put those on there i'm like okay first step looking pretty good now i need an engine so i found a camaro instead of buying a brand new one for like twelve thousand bucks i found an old camaro it was like a 2002 in california and the guy was selling it for like 2500 bucks so i went and i bought the car i thought oh, i'm just gonna pull the engine out of that put it in my porsche and we'll call it good so i went down there picked it up drove it home the guy was a total liar and he lied to me about everything about this car and it broke halfway home and then it finally exploded and just did not run anymore not a hilton but a hampton so I stayed here last night. Here's the hoopty doopty. Hey. Okay, I'm in my second tow truck with the Camaro. I never got your name. Lance. Lance. Say goodbye to the camera. Right. Thanks, Dude. Lance. Took the engine apart. There was nothing too bad about it. It just, it, I think the head gaskets were blown and that was the main reason it wouldn't run. So we pulled the whole thing apart rebuilt it as we were taking the car apart you have to kind of pull the whole bottom of the car out so the transmission and the engine everything drops out underneath and you got this torque tube in the middle that connects the two we decided to rebuild the torque tube and put new bearings in there we actually got rid of the original transmission we bought one from a turbo so it would be able to handle the horsepower had that rebuilt. When I put the eight cylinder in, it was only 30 pounds heavier than the stock 944 four cylinder engine, wet. And stuffed this newly rebuilt LS1 
into this thing. And then as we're putting that in, we decided, well, we need to put brakes on it so it'll stop better. So we did that. We need better suspension so it will handle better with the extra weight. I pretty much rebuilt the whole car. So instead of a 1987, now it's a 2017 brand new Porsche 944. But the body had a couple, you know, the paint was faded a little bit and there was a ding in the hood where somebody had left a screwdriver or something and closed the hood and kind of pushed up a little ding in the hood and that kind of bugged me. And so after I did all this work, then I was like, oh, well, why don't I paint it? I'll just paint the hood. So I started sanding on the hood and two weeks later I had the whole car sanded down and I was looking at the front end of this car and it has this kind of funky bumper that sticks out and it sticks out quite far. I didn't like it. So I found a company that made a valance that would replace that and it's made out of fiberglass. But what they had done is they had made it so that you take the old lights out of the Porsche and you put these into this new cool valance. And I'm like, all right, well, started looking at it and kind of mocked it up with my lights and I've seen some photos and I'm like, this is ridiculous. Why are we gonna put something that looks so cool and just stuff these old 87 lights back into it? So I'm like, let's update the whole thing. I learned how to fiberglass and I, did a whole bunch of work on it. I took the side lights out. I closed off the front ends where the lights were supposed to be. What I did was I put a little bit of foam on the side here and I made this little curve and I'm hoping that that's gonna carry kind of a really finished look here. We're gonna have some LEDs that kind of run down this line on both sides. So basically we're gonna carry this line out all the way across. And then it's going to come up with this angle here and it's going to meet right about here coming across. We're going to have the same edge here running all the way across. I have taken these ridiculous things out and I just cut them out and I replaced it with a piece of fiberglass that I have made here. I promise it's going to look way better when it's done. I've got this one filled in all the way around to you know they're not the coolest thing in the world but they're pretty cool versus what was gonna go into the car I added a center strip in the front and I did a lot of work on this thing and there was a lot of stuff I didn't understand why these people would have built this thing this way they got all the trouble to build this mold why wouldn't they make it like really custom and cool so they could even sell it for more. I think I paid 700 bucks for it and I would have paid a lot more had they done all this work for it. My friends over at Robertson Ford painted it for me. I got a really good deal, but with a good deal on a paint job, I think that you get maybe not the best quality or the best end result. So there was a lot of kind of fussing and little things that I wanted to do to it. So I kind of cleaned some things up after they did their job. And then we added seats and a steering wheel and a new dash and the thing right now looks like it's brand new. So it's a lot of fun to drive. Four more cylinders makes all the difference in the world. And it's almost too scary, but I live in Bend, Oregon. So six months out of the year, we have snow. So it sits in the garage. But when I do get to drive it in the summer, it's really cool. I've had people literally like turn around and follow me back to a gas station wherever I end up stopping just so that they could look at the car and see what it is. Porsche people are kind of Porsche people I think that's how it works. I didn't buy this car because I like Porsche as a brand. I bought this car because I think that that body style is so cool and so sexy and the things that I could have done to clean it up to make it even better I absolutely did that to my standard and I think it looks so good and I'm so happy with the car right now. It's so fun to drive. Thank you guys for listening to my story. Check out the rest of my photos and this has been the Flick 5 channel and I will see you in the next one.